Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and this is how to make an RPG in Unity and welcome to episode 39. In this tutorial we're going to implement the visual XP and levels that we have in our pause menu uh, simply because I want to bring that into this dungeon because this dungeon is going to be where we start to gain much more experience. Don't forget, click the subscribe button and click the bell icon as well. Stay up to date with every tutorial still to come in this series and indeed everything else about game development on my channel. With that in mind, let's get to work. So, up to this point, we have created many different things here, there and everywhere. You know, we started doing some AI, then we left and did something else. We started doing uh, the pause menu, you know, the imagery menu and all that. We left and did something else. So we've gained experience from all different places so far. And I think from this tutorial onwards, we're going to really bring everything together to combine the whole experience. So if we go back to area one, and uh, it's the open world bit, by the way, if you've forgotten. Uh, let's go to our canvas, and we're going to be working uh, with 2D in this particular tutorial. So the inventory menu, I'm going to double click so we can see it a little bit better. And I'm going to turn it on, pan my camera around so I can see. Now, experience wise, I think we have to determine where we're going to have our experience displayed. Logically, I think we should have it displayed in our stat panel. So I am going to turn off the item panel and turn on the stat panel. And I'm going to have my experience and level somewhere here. So let's create that experience bar. Now to do so, I'm going to do just a couple of things to begin with. Um, I mean, ideally, I'm just going to have you, you can be a little bit more creative with how you do this. But I'm only showing you the basic mechanics of how we actually do this. So in the stat panel, I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a new UI element, which is going to be a raw image. And I'm going to use the rec tool, bring it up to about there. Height, I'm going to have probably as maybe 40. I think 40 will do the trick. Uh, width, I'm going to have this as, hmm, let's have it as 500. 500 is a bit too big. Let's try 300. So that's a reasonable experience bar, I think. And I'm going to have it completely black. Uh, right click and rename. And let's call this uh, XP holder. And all this will do is this is like the kind of background image of how the XP will uh, display. So to top that, I'm going to hold control, press D to duplicate, and I'm going to rename this to XP bar. Uh, let's have it a blue color. So a nice deep blue. Uh, and let's reduce the size a little bit because I'm going to have, let's say, five pixels on every single side free so it looks like a border you could think of it as so let's have um so the width is going to be 290 height is going to be 30. Uh, so what we've got to think about now is the order in which we're going to do this now i know that seems crazy but basically this blue bar is going to move up when we gain experience and obviously reset when we've got a level so I would like some white to kind of dictate that we still need to get to this level or maybe gray or something. So in fact, I think we'll actually change this to gray. And now I'm going to rename because I want to do it in this order. So I'm going to call this XP bar gray. And then I'll control press D and this one is the actual XP bar. So this bar is what's going to move up and down as we gain the experience. So let's have it back as the blue color. Now, we want our XP to always start here. So we've got say 10 XP, it moves to here. Uh, 50 XP and it moves to here. We don't want it to expand from the middle like it does with our health bar. So we're gonna do a little something different with the script which will control all of this. And if I just quickly press play, just to get a quick overview of what this will look like in our menu. If Unity decides that it wants to uh, actually let me see. So that is what it looked like if our XP bar was full. So as a quick little extra, I'm going to take that stat button. Hold control, press D, duplicate, 
bring it over here, align it. Uh, let's have it on the left and let's put experience. And I'm going to reduce that uh, width. In fact, just to be sure, I'm going to keep this a nice rounded 300 to keep everything in check, which means that I'm going to have to increase the holder to 310 and increase everything else to 300 and 300. And I'm just going to save the scene there. So we're going to want to go into uh, the scripts folder and then we're going to need global XP or global experience, uh, whatever we called it. It was an experience, wasn't it? So global XP. Probably also deal with the global level as well because we're going to want to display our level number, aren't we? Obviously. <laughs> Otherwise, what's the whole point in any of this? So this is where it starts getting a little bit fun because we can use the same kind of concept that we used for our health bar, except we just need to add in one little extra detail, which allows us to control where the beginning of that experience bar actually starts. So uh, for those of you who do follow the series, you'll have noticed I've also changed my version to 2019.1. Um, so obviously a couple of things may be different if you're following an older version or even if you're in the future and using a newer version. But everything should be relatively the same. So our script isn't that one. It is this one. It's brought in mindrawer.cs. That relates to... Uh, making it look nice, post-processing. So here we are, global XP. This is what we're gonna deal with. This is how we're gonna make our experience bar change. Now, first things first, I'm going to have the experience start at uh, 10 for now. So for all intents and purposes, we can see what exactly is happening, which means the width is going to be 10. And I'm going to bring it this way and align it perfectly there. Now we can see the X position is minus four, seven, six. Keep this in mind because it will prove important later on. Now we need to declare a couple of variables here. So let's start with public float. And obviously we need a float because we need to deal with different types of um, experience you know you could generate half experience point because of how the math will calculate um, the position of the experience bar itself so just keep with me on this one so float and we'll have health bar pos short for position uh, public and we will have um, so I'm just trying to think in what order we're going to do this in because that's going to be our position, but we're also going to need to know the XP amount because the XP amount is what dictates our XP, but we've got it here in the internal XP, so we don't necessarily need it. I know I'm rambling to myself, but don't worry. It makes sense in my head. Uh, what we need is a game object, and that will be the XP bar. It's obviously the blue bar that we have. So... What we need to do in void update is we need to now say that the health bar pos, the position, is equal to... Now, this is where we have to be very, very careful because the positioning of all this can prove a little bit, how I sh could I say, tricky, just simply because of how we actually... Um, have the anchor set. So the stat panel, we have it as stretch. And if we look at the XP bar itself, you'll see, remember that 476. If I go to stat panel now and I change this to be um, just center and go back to the XP bar, it still says 476. Now, this is crucial because if we say start at four, minus 476, depending on your anchor position, it may shift itself. I'm hoping this goes wrong when we do apply the script so I can show you what I mean by that. So we need to say health bar pause is equal to 
For now, I'm going to say minus 476, just so as it makes sense. Because if we were to move this, you can see the position decreases, right? So it will start at minus 476 for now. And I'm going to apply this script incomplete to the scene so we can see it moving. I know this sounds really rambly and really complicated, but I'm trying to explain this in the best possible way right now. So we need to say that the XP bar dot transform dot position equals new vector three, uh, two, sorry, no, because we're dealing with 2D environment, vector two, not three. And in brackets, the X position, which is going to be that health bar pause, comma, and then the Y position, which is going to be, in this case, 93. Now, that won't ever really change because it's always going to be in the same relative position, or it, it should be at least. Uh, but we'll see now, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that, and we're going to do this gradually because... Sometimes it, this goes wrong even for me, and it kind of gets a little bit annoying if it does go wrong. Uh, but all we need to do is apply the variable to that script. And I cannot remember where it is. But let's type in XP. And we have level XP object. So let's add the XP bar to there and press play. And let's just see how this looks in our window right now. So as you can see, it's gone AWOL, right? So XP bar has decided to place itself at minus 1251.4, which isn't really fantastic at all. It's put itself over here. So let's take that off now. Go to stat panel and let's have that as stretch and press play again. And if we go to the XP bar once again, you can see it's gone in the same place. Even though we're telling it to go to this position, it's just not. It, it just isn't. It is a pain. So what we need to do is if we say health bar pos equals minus 476 and have that as zero, resave the script, head back to Unity, and press play again. it changes once again. And we can actually see it just on the edge of our screen here. Now, if I uncouple the game window from there, and if I move around all of this, we can see that no matter what, this stays static right there. We can actually use that to our advantage. So let's bring the game window back together. And we can see that currently it is at minus 775 and 225. So if we decide to say health bar, pause, um, what should we say? So minus 476, minus 775. So that is, um, it's going to be a positive of um, about 300. Let's see what it's like with 300. And the Y position as, let's have a look. So, in fact, let's see how it reacts. It can be a little bit annoying, this, sometimes, because it just doesn't behave as it should do. Um, so that looks to be roughly about right. So, that, so the Y position, let's have that as... 250 uh, health bar pause let's have that as 290 save and hopefully this will make a little bit more sense now oh nearly there now the reason all this is happening is simply because of the anchor points and when i tested this out before doing the tutorial i actually got it working as i would expect it to it just decides to kind of play up on me doesn't it because that's just what unity is good at but either way once you get it aligned almost there so it is going to be it is going to be 300 
and four, uh, two, five, maybe. And let's try again. I may cut out this little bit of the video, actually. <laughs> Me trying to get it just right. Right, almost there. Almost there. So it's going to be 299 and 415. So whatever happens now, I'm going to keep it as that. And we're going to carry on from there. Because we can now actually use that to determine whereabouts our XP will uh, move to as we move along. So we have to remember that the base of the health bar is actually 299. Let's bring this down. Five. So 299 is the absolute base of the health bar. And we need to use a calculation now to determine that 299 will always be the starting position, at least on the left hand side. Now, what I mean by that is if we were to increase the health, because if we press play now, it will look exactly in the right position. However, if we were to increase the width of it, so let's say we've got 30 experience now, it's going to do that. So we need to be able to say this section starts right here. And that's where that math calculation will come into play. So in order to do that, we need to say the current XP divided by 2 plus health bar pause. So... Let's do that. Let's have another variable which says, in fact, you know what? No, we'll use this. We'll use health bar pause because why not? Or should we use a separate? I can't make my mind up. You can use the same one. Let's do it separate so we can see the flow of how all this works. This is not going good for Jimmy. Uh, public float, and we'll have this as x pause semicolon. And we'll say x pos equals and then we will say uh, internal if I can spell it right internal XP divided by 2 semicolon and then the XP bar transformed up position is going to be health bar pos and then plus X pos and save now this will look a little bit different now. In fact, I'll reset that to 10. This will not appear quite as intended, but we should now be able to understand the principle of how this looks. So if we were to change our actual width now, not in the game view, if we were to change our width to let's say 50 and press play, we have to remember that this is not going to work unless we add to the global XP. So by that standard, we've just gained 40 XP, haven't we? So our XP should say 40. So let's go to our XP object, which is level XP. And internal XP currently says zero. However, let's set it to 40 which it's not going to let us, obviously, because... <laughs> oh. Okay. This is not going well for Jimmy. The whole principle does work, guys. Trust me. Trust me on this one. Uh, by the way, you, you're perfectly allowed to uh, leave a dislike if you want. If I make this equal to 10, and then press play, we can see that it has actually moved because we're saying that the experience itself should be uh, 10, right? So by that standard, it also means that we have to change the width of this to say 10. That's now representative of the experience, but it won't display correctly. So we have to now set this back to zero, save, but we also have to set the width to zero because we have zero xp so now the next thing we need to do is actually get the size of that particular um actual experience and to do that we need to say that xp bar dot get component rect transform 
So obviously we're changing the uh, size of it here. Oh, close bracket, dot size delta, which we've done in the uh, health bar, as you know, new vector two, and in brackets, basically it's just how big it is. So in other words, we're saying our internal XP and the height, which is, is it 30? It is 30, 30. And close bracket and save. Now, I know this has been an absolute rigmarole. I know this is absolutely insane. However, we should now have all of this working. So we have no experience, remember guys, and we have none whatsoever. So what we need to do is if I actually place the character inside the playable area, it would help, wouldn't it? Um, so I'm going to do the first quest to get the sword, which should give us, is it 100 experience? I think it's 100 experience, isn't it? So we should be able to see our experience bar has changed when we get 100 experience. So let's take, accept. Gosh. So it can take a little bit of working out and getting the math just right to get the health bar working correctly. Sometimes it can be a little bit of a pain, but don't worry about it. You'll get there in the end. So let's take the sword. And let's go and hand this in. Do, 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 do. Come on, nearly there. Complete quest. So now... See, we're not quite right there. We're almost got it, but you can see how the experience is working. So we just need to say health bar here plus X pars. And it looks like it was, a, was it about 10 maybe, was it? Was it about 10? So we need say maybe minus 10, I think it is. So now when we press play, so I'm going to go through this now and I'm going to do everything else within the game um, because we're going to see everything work as intended now. And I'm going to talk about what we're going to do in the next tutorial as well because this this one I feel has been a bit of a, a bit of a pain but we've got there in the end. So next tutorial what we're going to do is we are going to allow ourselves to level up. So when we've got all the experience we need we're going to level up. Uh, we're also going to display on our screen our actual level number and hopefully we're going to start looking at traps and other stuff inside the uh, dungeon that we've got. Uh, kill the spiders, here is the key. Okay, excellent. So hopefully, if we go out here now, we should be able to kill these spiders. There's one of them. There we go. There's that one gone. Oh, and here's this one. He doesn't want to die. He does not want to die. There we go. Okay, so let's have a look at our experience. Do we need to hand the quest in? I think we do need to hand the quest in. Uh, either way, our experience is now increasing, which I am quite happy with because at least we've got it right now. And um, it's a good idea. Yep, it's a good idea to check everything out. Perfect. So let's have a quick look at our XP object. You can see our XP is now 120. So it has increased 120. Just a final little thing there is my uh, math is off there. That needs to be minus five. And now everything will be perfect. So um, like I say, next tutorial, we're gonna delve into this a little bit more. Uh, I am really sorry guys about the lack of uh, <laughs> Unity deciding to play up. But either way, 
we got there. So guys, till the next tutorial, thank you very much for watching.